Certainly the ideal is to prevent uh, disease outbreaks and prevent that outbreaks become pandemics uh, anywhere. But if you do have a disease and outbreak event and you want to eradicate it, you need three things. Understanding of the transmission dynamics between the pathogen and the host, be it human or, 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 or animal. You have to have the tools available. That could be diagnostics for detection, uh, treatments or vaccines, and thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, is the political will, the funding, the resources to eliminate and eradicate a disease. Risky human behavior could be as simple as uh, not washing your hands. Risky behavior could also be buying um, animals or animal products at a cheap price. Why? Because maybe they're ill or they're past their expiration period. Risky behavior could also be uh, buying something exotic from a faraway land. Why? Because you want it in your diet. Risky behavior could also be drinking raw milk and getting brucellosis, or uh, hunting wildlife uh, that are easy to hunt, they're ill, uh, and that's the case that we see with Ebola virus, where you may have hunters going into the bush, bringing back uh, wildlife to the village, and you trigger an outbreak. Ebola, uh, MERS, uh, brucellosis, some types of uh, influenza, uh, tuberculosis, uh, toxoplasmosis. There's a whole slew of, of diseases, including salmonella or campylobacter, bacterial diseases or protozoal diseases uh, that can actually be transmitted from animals to humans uh, or from, 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 from food. We have to remember also that humans are terrestrial mammals, so we share a common environment and we share common pathogens. What's very curious about the connection we have with MERS and camels is that it's probably been going on for decades, if not hundreds of years. Why? Because there are so many camels that have shown uh, there are serological positive, that have antibodies in their blood in many countries throughout the world, many countries. So we have not seen clinical disease. So it seems to be, have been around for a long time and a large proportion of those camels are or were infected early on in life. In Ebola, it seems just the opposite. We see very little evidence of Ebola antibodies in some of the animals that have been looked at to date. So it's a needle in a haystack with, uh, with Ebola, and it's very, very plentiful in MERS. What does all that mean? Uh, we're trying to find out. Having the right diagnostic tests is very, very important to know where the disease is and where the disease is not. And where the disease is, then your policy makers, your decision makers, your chief veterinary officer, the field people can take action. Action to prevent spread, action to prevent uh, or, to, or to, to, to ensure public health, uh, action to control the disease. So the diagnostic, the detection system is key. However, detection systems can be quite expensive. So we need to do research to make these more accessible, particularly in the realms of uh, wildlife or livestock, uh, veterinary medicine, uh, ministries of agriculture.